Hagrid could have come from the term hagridden, which means worried or troubled or anxious or afflicted with nightmares. Literally like hag ridden, like there's a hag or a witch rode you or sat on you all night giving you bad dreams. Oh, wow. It's kind of a, a weird old English word. Mm-hmm. One of the major uh, places you'll find it is in the Thomas Hardy book, The Mayor of Casterbridge. Um, he uses the term Hagrid. Uh, he puts a little dash in the middle of it. Um, but it's. I wanted to mention it because there's also a reference to Dumbledore in the same sentence. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, a kind, it's a long sentence, so I'm going to skip part of it. But she no longer spoke of Dumbledores, but of humblebees. No longer said of young men and women that they walked together, but that they were engaged. And she grew to talk of Greggles as wild hyacinths. That when she had not slept, she did not quaintly tell the servants next morning that she had been Hagrid, but that she had suffered from indigestion. Whoa. Yeah. So he's kind of talking about different meanings of these words or different interpretations or, you know, um, euphemisms. That's the word I was looking for. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you don't want to say she's been Hagrid, but she suffered from indigestion. Yes. That's the excuse. The more polite yeah. way of saying it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but huh. the, there's Dumbledore's was humble bees. And you remember Dumbledore means bumblebee. Bumblebee. Mm-hmm. And so both of those references come from this book that was written well before the Harry Potter series, right? Oh, yes, yes. Hundreds of years before. Hundreds of years okay. before. Yeah. And has, have in your research, did you happen to see anything that J.K. Rowling referenced this, this book or novel or whatever it is? Or I didn't see specifically from her that she referenced it, but I saw people saying that she referenced it. Mm-hmm. So um, it's, I think it's a pretty good chance that she did. I think she's a pretty well-read and well-informed lady. Yeah, and that would be a pretty big coincidence. It would, yes. Yeah. 